Then carbon fuses into neon and magnesium as they exhaust on through heavier elements. At over three billion degrees when iron is fused, the game is up. The explosion is a supernova. It can be as bright as a galaxy, a glowing expulsion of debris. Deep inside is a remnant beaming radiation. Compacted to less than 20 kilometers, a grain of it would weigh a million tons. The supergiant core has become a neutron star, a pulsar spinning many times a second. The Crab Nebula is a supernova relic. The flash that spewed it was observed by the Chinese in 1054. At the heart of the Crab, rings of material still emanate from its neutron star, time-lapse by the Hubble Space Telescope. A graphic of the Crab's neutron star jetting out material. It forms a surrounding ring, like a donut. Here, material from an ordinary star is drawn to a neutron star. Matter crashing to the surface creates superbursts. They expel more energy in three hours than the sun in a hundred years. Study of such explosions has revealed neutron stars that spin hundreds of times a second. Our galaxy teems with wonders, not least here in the Carina Nebula. We're approaching one of the largest known stars, Eta Carinae, perhaps a hundred times more massive than the Sun. The star is already shedding material. A supernova waiting to happen. But this time, the colossal explosion will compress the core to beyond a neutron star, to a black hole. Supernovae are the lifeblood of our galaxy. Their debris and shock waves help create stars like the sun. Their chemical elements are in every planet and every one of us. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, just one among the 50 billion galaxies believed to comprise the universe. <laughs>